Falling into the sin is not what makes us unworthy. Rather, not willing to get up and come back to the mercy of God makes us unworthy. I came to call not the upright but sinners. A man was planning to kill himself by throwing himself off a cliff. On the way, he stopped at the house of a friend to say goodbye to him. He told him the story of his sad life, how little he had loved God and served his family, how he had broken every commandment of God and now his guilt was too great, even difficult for God to forgive. His friend reasoned with him saying, But you know that the mercy of God is immeasurably great and he always offers us his love. We must only accept it. Finally, he managed to bring him back to God. In today's gospel, we have the example of Matthew and his miraculous transformation from a sinner to the apostle. The assurance of God during the time of a dinner makes it more ensuring that he says, I came to call not the righteous but sinners. The similar assurance is seen in the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Being in the state of sin is the worst thing a Christian can experience. Jesus can make us clean and pure. This is the realization all of us need to have as a Christian. Falling into the sin is not what makes us unworthy. Rather, not willing to get up and come back to the mercy of God makes us unworthy. Matthew the tax collector has earned enough money through his sinful profession. The society not only disrespected him, but also hated him. Matthew knew very well what he was doing is wrong and wanted to change from this sinful life. And this made him different from his fellow workers. However, for Jesus, he is a man in need of healing and restoration from his human dignity. Jesus sees his heart burning with desire to change. When Jesus calls Matthew, he responds immediately and that brings him great peace and joy. The change of Matthew made great impact on his fellow tax collectors. The one person's response of conversion brings many others to the Lord. Let us strive to be the persons who brings change in the lives of the people. Amen.